Fine. Uh, we'll see. The next is how to compile, link, and run the C program. So to do this, I'll take the same previous program example. Here we have written this program, which is in the form of high level language. So computer cannot understand. We have to convert this into machine level language. That is machine can understand only one language that is in binary language, only zeros and ones. So this high level language program has to be converted into machine level language. This high level, the program, the C program, which is in the form of high level language, we usually we call this as a source code. So the program which is in the form of high level language, we call it as an source code. And if I give the program name as sum, automatically the C program extension will be taken as an C. So all C program extensions will be given as an C language. So this is, we call it as a source code. Now this source code has to be converted into machine level language. And that job of converting is done by compiler. So compiler will convert the high level language programs into zeros and ones. And then you'll have the file after compiling called as an sum.obj, which we call it as an object code. So the source code is converted to an object code and that job is done by compiler. Actually, compiler does two jobs. The first job of the compiler is to check in the program, is there any errors? Okay. So there's something called as a syntax errors. So every language provides you some set of rules. So for example, in this case, that every line has to end with a semicolon. So if you don't end, that means you are violating the language rule. Okay. So here you have given printf or, or as you have given here int int. So this int should be in a lower case. So if you have given as an upper uppercase, then it will not find any uh, keyword called as an uppercase int. So those all errors have been checked by compiler, okay? And if the if your program contains any of those such errors, compiler errors, so that will be listed by the compiler first. So only if the program is error free, then you can convert that into machine level language. So compiler does two jobs. First, find out in a program, is there any syntax errors or compiler errors? So list out all those errors. So you have to debug the errors. Once the program is error free, then the compiler converts this into machine level language and we call that as an object code. Fine. Now we cannot run this object code directly because this code contains only the functions which you have written. In this example, you have written only one function that is a main function. Okay. So here you have written only main function that this program contains only the main function. But to run the program, we need one more function that is nothing but printf, which is present in a separate file called as an stdio.h. Okay, so this stdio.h contains some different small, small functions. So like you have a printf function, you have a scanner function. So like that, there are some set of functions. So someone has to get this function from this stdio.h and include in your program. Okay, and that job is done by linker. So linker links your program with all these library files and fetch all the functions which you wanted in to run the program and include in your file. And after doing that, the linker will create a file with a name as sum.exe. That is in case if you're working on an Windows based operating system, then you'll get a file called sum.exe. But if you're working on an Unix or Linux based, then you'll get a file called as an a.out. So this file will have the functions, all the functions which you have written, like main, okay? Plus you'll be having all the library functions. So to run this program, you need that library function that is in printf. So these both functions will be there inside this sum.exe. So this exe file should contain all the functions which is needed to run the program. And you can run this program directly. So hence this file is called as an executable code.
we call it as an executable code. So whenever you write a C program, there are three files which gets created. That is one is an .c, second is an .obj, and third one is an .exe. So this .c is going to be on source code which we created. So this .obj is created by compiler which we call it as an object code, and the linker will create this executable code. So these are the three files which gets created when you run the program. So once you get this executable code, you can directly run the program. You need not once again have a compiler or linker to run the program. So for example, if you want to run the program in a DOS, you can from the DOS prompt, you can just type your sum and press enter key or else you can type your sum.exe and press enter key. The program will get directly executed. So whereas in case of your Linux or Unix based machines, you can directly run it by giving your slash a dot out. So hence we call this as an executable code.